All right. As you can see, I'm recording. This is me, Sean. Sean's Basics. You know, uh, I draw spooky shit. And right now, we're going to be drawing just something spooky. And I'm starting here so you can see what I choose. Most often, I choose this one because it is small and you can use it very well. Oh, yeah. The first thing I do, I always use the bucket tool. Black background. I create a new layer by clicking this. Plus, and now i got a new layer. I choose a color somewhere in this area. Most often over there. And... I do an oval. I always start with the eyes. With the eyes, you know the expression. He can uh, look every. You can look strange, but starting with the eyes, you know how the rest of the face is going to look like. Most often than not, you can see, see like that. So it's going to be a little bit squished, maybe, maybe like that, and the mouth is going to be like that. You know, it doesn't look like look the best. He's got three eyes. You know, maybe we'll use that, but sometimes we just don't use it. So I'll just create a new new layer. And sorry, I'm a bit sick today. But uh, here we go. Like that. We're just gonna do something simple. There we go. Like that. Maybe. Uh, Draw in a little bit inside the eyes, so it looks a bit weird. Works wonders. And like that. Go a little bit down. Maybe like that. Like that. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you what brush I'm using. This is the round brush, rough. You can find it somewhere in here. Ah, right here. You can find it right here. It's very useful, and I love it. So it goes a bit down, and now we have a mouth. But I don't like this mouth. It's way too small. Maybe like that. Hmm. The mouth is looking a bit off. Doesn't it look? It looks like a baby. But a baby can be creepy. You know, it's not really so... If you saw a person that had the face of a baby running straight at you, you'd be terrified. You wouldn't be like, oh, look at the baby. You'd be, fuck, look at the baby. Ugh, it's horrible. I'm running. And that's why babies are weird. See, it's already looking pretty good. All on one layer. Well... Three layers, but we don't count this one. So two layers. Yeah. All right. So like that, you can, uh, if you want to do arms, you could just do arms like that. If you don't want to do arms, you don't have to. Arms are a distraction. And reason why is I just zoom in like that because People are not going to focus on the fucking hips of this creature. They're always going to focus on the face. Hence why you put 70% of all of your detail into the face, but you also always got to put a little bit of detail into the wrist. Not too much if you're lazy, but if you want, you can put a, like 100% into everything. Which is, you know, a pain in the ass, and it takes a while, and it's boring. Because doing the face... It understandably is the most fun. The face is the creepiest. It's where the most detail is. It's where the most uncanniness of the place goes. Like this look, this looks like it could have been human once. It's got a human mouth, human-ish nose if it was cut off, and no eye sockets. I'm going to change that in a bit. I'm going to put some. Stuff in here, maybe. There we go. There we go. Good. Looking pretty swell. Now, as it stands, this guy looks like he is fat. He's got a fat neck. We're going to change that by putting some shading under him so it looks like he isn't... doesn't have f neck flaps under him, but that can be creepy sometimes. 
doing this, you're supposed to uh, make it as grotesque and weird and unnatural. Like, if you wanted to make it unnatural, like make it not as hu not at all human, you could. You could just draw a fucking dog, and that w won't be human at all. But it has to have some human characteristics. It's got to have at least a humanist, a like, kind of human torso, human neck, human head. It's got to have something human about it that you recognize as human. And then everything else is just like, huh, that's that's weird. That's not supposed to be like that. And then your body is going to throw warning signs like, no, that's not right. That's 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 not right. That, what the fuck is happening? What is that? And that is why the Uncanny Valley is great and it is the best form of horror. You cannot prove me wrong because it is fact. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know if it is fact true that it is the most horrific thing, but it is to me. And here we go. We have a face. It is, this is all that's needed, really. This is all that you need. But, um, it's a bit boring doing it like that. So we're going to add a, a little bit of shading, maybe a little bit of coloring in the background. Coloring is, I use this Clouds Moon Fog, which isn't called Clouds Moon Fog. Wait, Clouds Moon Fog, yeah, Clouds Moon Fog. I call it Clouds Moon Fog because I use it for clouds and shading for the moon and planets and stuff like that. And I use it for fog as well. And you can find it right here. You can see the line on the right, right next to, uh, it's on the bottom side. And it's called Clouds Cotton. Not Clouds Real, Clouds Cotton. What is fur like? I don't think I've ever tried this. Fuck off. What is this? Hang on. Ugh. No, I don't like that. That's, that's not, ugh. Yeah. All right, so, shading. Shading, we use Clouds Moon Fog, we choose black, and we just, uh, we choose Alpha Lock, oh wait, we choose Alpha Lock right here, and we do it like that. See? You can already see that it is supposed to be a kind of skinny neck, and reason why I'm going to putting this down is because we're going to have lighting from above going down so the head is a bit forward because of the chin right here and because of the chin the light is not reaching the front of the torso and it is creating a shadow right here which is going to go all the way down here like that shading is that fucking simple people think tend to think that it takes a long time to do shading but it takes a long time to master it. I have not yet mastered it, but I am pretty good at it. Shading is going to be very fun. Shading, lighting. I think lighting is harder because you're going to have to really focus. Really focus on where the light source is coming from. The light source is coming from up here. And what we do is we choose yellow. Yellow is a very nice color for shading. Like we can uh, choose right here. This is going to be white for now. There we go. It's very nice, right? But uh, if I put it below the... You see that? This is how it looks like without the black background. That's why I always put a black background. Um, what do I do? So, I choose that. I, cho I do that, and then I do this. And this can, it sometimes works. It works very often. What I do is, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do that. That's way rougher. Way faster. Sure, I could do that, but you can see edges. The edges are bad. So you can sometimes just erase the edges and move on. <sighs> Taking shortcuts, you can take shortcuts. Taking shortcuts is okay. I take shortcuts all the time. And you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You should only be ashamed of it if you're a surgeon or some kind of person that requires you to be very, you know, 
strict and you're gonna have to focus and do stuff like that then you should be ashamed of yourself but right now not really all right now you just do that Ooh, you can see in the mouth um hmm just do that there you go looking good looking good and now that you're like that you're able to shade accordingly you choose the color right here i just hold down and it chooses the color and i choose the brightest part and i make it a little bit brighter i choose the clouds moon fog or just the real cotton brush which it was, it's originally called but i renamed it this and then i just shade accordingly look at that it's coming down because it's a nose it goes a little bit forward so it's going to be a little bit brighter maybe below the nose it's gonna be a bit bright maybe right here maybe on the sides of the shoulders there's sh there's lighting coming down from the sides so there should be a little bit of lighting right here and right here on the sides right here and right here so that's a little bit of lighting and then i just do a little bit of that i'm doing this because someone asked me to show my process and i realized oh i have not recorded in a while so i did and i keep forgetting how much fun it is to record i can't believe i went from making minecraft videos to <laughs> doing art tutorials it's very fun and very simple once you get the hang of it you know when i draw this i'm not being very exact i'm just messing around it's all about technique and muscle memory once you do it enough it's going to be simple you're going to feel like you're running through it you're going to feel like an actual pro and your confidence is going to shoot way high so don't worry if you ever feel like your art is bad just know that that's that's not true you know art is subjective if you like it then that's you you like it but if you want to truly improve just continue doing something keep changing styles as well keep drawing in different styles different stuff try different things and don't be afraid to ask for help you know if you're stuck on something and no tutorial tutorial seems to help then just you know ask ask me i may be able to help a little bit don't be afraid to ask man it's okay you're able to ask there's no shame in that no shame in that there's don't like your, don't let your ego take over Just take your time and you will improve with time and effort. There we go. Here you have a simple drawing. Just gonna trim the top of the head a little bit like that. The side like that. All right, see that? Simple, but we're not done yet. If we were done, it would have been simple, but it's not done yet. Actually, uh, maybe a little bit like that all right so what's next is I can also sometimes using this brush I can choose a little bit of blood mm. just to be very specific the color it can sometimes be a little bit bad and blood sometimes does not fit that drawing but I think the mouth hole deserves a little bit of blood Yeah, see the mouth hole deserved a little bit of blood see that then you can put a little bit on the torso because it's black like because it's so dark ha adding a little bit of blood really improves it see there you go and now comes a very important part which is first i'm gonna 
change the color to a little yellow. There you go. A very important stage right now. Filters. And I can't stress this enough how fucking important it is. We go into filters. We first go into unsharp mask. I'm saying, I'm telling you this now. If you don't use filters in this kind of art style, please do it. It is so very important doing filters. Make sure that the edges are not too sharp. Not too sharp. There you go. There you go. There you go. Filters ain't cheating because fil filters and effects is, are another tool at your disposal. There you go. I go from around here. If, the, if it's too high, then it's too high and it looks weird. And I could use this, but that's not really a skill. You could just draw a smiley face and it'll look the same. Then we go to adjust color. So a bit of contrast, a bit of brightness. We can sometimes lower the brightness, but I think right here is good. Then we go to color balance. And, hmm. You want it to be on the blue side, and also, this is like red, this is cyan blue. You want it to be a little bit on the blue side, this is pink, and this is green. You want to be a little bit on the green side, and yellow, and blue, you want it to be a little bit on the blue side. See that? You want it to be blue, green, blue. See that? And it looks like that. It looks pretty nice. Zooming blur. You can sometimes zoom to this direction, and then zoom to that direction, and then moving blur. And it's going to look a little strange. And that's, that's good. That was the goal. The goal here is to make it look very strange. And with that, we go to import picture. And what do we do here? Well, I'm using my logo. I choose it right here. I put it somewhere like over here, and I look over here, there you go, and maybe I'll move it a little bit, there we go, so people can uh, comment on it, like, uh, well, that's mine, I have a logo right here proving so, but we're not done yet. Now, the next step in the filtering process is Instagram. Now, Instagram has a lot of filters that I use, and they're very important. Now, this one is classic. It works wonders, but it's not what we're going for. Huh, there's so many filters that we could use. A lot of people tend to skip the filtering process, but I don't like to. It's very important. It's a very important step, and I want to show you all the secrets. Now, lo-fi, very good. Like right here, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's nice. But it still has some brightness. Right here, I clicked this. It's at the top. You can see that? Lux. It's very important. Brightness, maybe a little bit lower, maybe around 20. Sure. Negative 20. Contrast. Mm, maybe around 20 as well. Sure. 18. Structure. We can sometimes use a little bit more structure. Can't we? Uh, 13. Sure. Warmth. It's always best to lower the warmth. Cold. Nice. But you can up the saturation if you want. The more saturation, the more weird it looks but it's good to have it a bit balanced. So like right here, and then we can skip a lot of these and go straight to Vignette. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll say Vignette because I'm dumb. And we can sometimes sharpen as well. There we go. 
and then we post.